Hi everyone, I'm Lech from Chocover.com and in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a basic car rig like this which allows you to move your car around and spin the wheels automatically. I think it's very useful if you wanna do a nice um, motion blur renderings of the wheels which look realistic and you wanna keep the car in motion. It's also handy if you wanna move the car around, uh, car or any, on any other object actually just by using one object that um, keeps all the pieces together. Um, yeah, so I'm using my free Choco for cars in this tutorial. I will switch to the first layer and we will begin with this model. So before we dive into creating the actual rig, uh, I want to tell you a few words about the car itself. Um, I also won't be covering all the the aspects of Blender like in very detail, so I will just quickly uh, run through the options when I do the rig and won't, you know, explain everything about them. So yeah, about the car, uh, I have the elements grouped into those few base meshes. This is the car exterior. Uh, these are the glass elements and I keep them separate because, as you can see here, uh, down below in the cycle settings I try sometimes keep some of the options disabled so the, the elements render better. Uh, then I have the interior element separate. I also have a logo here because I don't want the subdivision modifier to affect it and then I have four wheels which are instances of the same mesh, as you can see here, the name doesn't change. Uh, such as here, when I change it, cha change it to, uh, to like object settings. Um, yeah, and as you could see in these, in this previous car, I have an empty element that keeps everything together. So we will do it here right now. Just press Shift A and select empty. It doesn't matter which one you choose, so I always use just the plain axis. Now I select all the other elements and you can see the empty object has this a little bit brighter tint. It's always in, It always indicates the active selected object. So you have multiple objects selected, but the one that's highlighted is the actual active object. So when I press Ctrl P set parent to object, it always means the highlighted object, like when you press any option and it, you wonder what, what object is this option, is this tool talking about, it's always the highlighted object. So we want to parent everything to this empty and keep the transformation. So once we do it, you, could, you can see those little uh, dotted arrows or lines appearing. Now when you select the empty object, you can Move the car around. As you can see, we uh, skipped the logo. So I repeat it. Yeah, and now everything follows the empty object, but the wheels don't spin. So I will show you how to, how to make them more uh, alive. So there are multiple ways to actually <clears throat> create this uh, rotary motion on the wheels. In general, what we want to do is telling Blender to somehow convert the motion in the y-axis on the empty object into the rotation in the x-axis on the on the four wheels. And the way I'm doing it is using uh, drivers which can be accessed in the special uh, panel here. We have to go to the graph editor and change the look or the mode here to drivers. Uh, as for now, nothing changes. That's why we need to go back to the 3D viewport. Now you press N key and go to the transformation settings here. So you can see we have the ro X rotation here. You right click, select add drivers and choose the, la uh, the last option here. So you can see the driver now appears and we have this violet color here. Now you need to select the driver and also press the N key here in this window. So first we go to the drivers tab here. I'll make this a little bit bigger. 
and we need to select our empty object here. Uh, as you can see, it's still red, meaning there's a error happening. And we need to change this option here to the average value. And now you can see everything cleans up. Let's see what happens if we move the empty object. Still no motion, apparently. So we select the window, uh, the, sorry, the wheel again, and change the space to local, and change the movement to Y. Let's see what happens now. Well, so you can see there is some rotation happening, but it's still not what we want, right? It's the wrong direction and it's way too slow. And to change that, we need to go to the modifiers here and select the generator. So the generator allows us uh, modifying and multiplying the rotation and transformations happening here. So now I will select the wheel. Since it's spinning way too slow, we will increase the scale here to three. And now you see it rotates much faster and more natural, just to the wrong direction. So to, to fix that, we only need to actually type minus here. And voila, the wheel is rotating now. Now to quickly apply the motion on the other wheels, we can either copy the settings from this one wheel to all the three remaining ones, or we can just delete them and copy this wheel here. But f just for the practice, I think it's nice to like do this all again on that wheel. Um, but you know, instead of instead of just um, typing the settings again, I will use those copy icons here. So let's add a driver. Now let's select this wheel here. Press this icon here. And now press this icon here. So you can see we have all the settings copied. We just need to change um, this option here. Now when you go to the modifiers, you can do exactly the same. So let's just press this button here and press this button here. So now both wheels are rotating, except of these two. And yeah, we will fix the other two wheels simply by copying uh, the one, the two that already work. So I will go full screen. I'm selecting these two wheels, pressing Alt D inst uh, instead of Shift D, so we have instances that use you know less memory. Now I press Control M and X to mirror the wheels in the X axis. Now I will just move them very carefully here. So everything matches, as you can see. It looks like the, the geometry doesn't match here, but it's because the wheels are rotated. So I will just zoom very closely here and just move the objects in this axis. Now I hide the objects, hide the selected wheels by pressing H and delete these two. Now Alt H to unhide everything and our rig is ready as you can see. So yeah, I hope this quick tutorial was informative. Um, yeah, and I, I, I think it's a pretty useful technique to very quickly uh, apply this this nice motion to, to vehicles or you can probably also use it on a bicycle or a skateboard or more motorcycle or any other object. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something new today. And if you like my channel, please subscribe or leave a like. And also visit chocofor.com to a written version of this tutorial, which I already prepared for you. And you can also go to store.chocofor.com to find more free, free models like these cars here. So again, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.